Okay, great. So, so now we built this, and we got a hole in there, and that was the hard part, was building this bottle. Okay? The rest of it's really easy. All you're going to do is you're going to set up your frame so that the bottom is 44, by, sorry, not 44, no, that's too big, 23 and a half by 23 and a half, actually a little bit under. I'll send you the specifics of what my, my PVC links are. Uh, but remember that sometimes the elbows are slightly different. Same with the T's. So you're going to have to adjust accordingly. But uh, you know, if I'm going to send you the correct dimensions, I'm going to make sure it's exactly what Dr. Fauch had because his mimicked Holden Baxter's. So uh, that's going to be an email in the next couple days because i got to run out to the boat shed to get an original one. Okay, so um, when I developed these, I really didn't like uh, when fabric alone was holding up the bottle because that sometimes you got a lot of ethanol in there. So I have a hole here in the top component. It's just an elbow at the top that I drilled a hole in. That rivet slides right into it, okay? You might want to trim a centimeter off that rivet. You don't have to. The other thing you can do is you can poke another hole in the back of the upper elbow because that rivet's pretty long depending on the brand of rivet you buy. The next thing we got to do is we need to attach this to the frame. Now, some people just use the fun noodle foam to hold the, the fabric on. I don't like that because sometimes these get caught in, in a ripple or whatever and water is pouring over the top and boom, it rips out. So I like to use these. All this is is 3 quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC. It's, it's not 3 quarters of an arc. It's not half an arc. It's somewhere in between, right? If you go to three quarters, it's going to be too hard. So just a little bit over half of the arc. And you can make these just by putting them on a table saw, right? Bzz, bzz, rip them that way. And then now these become perfect clips for this, this net, okay? Now, don't pull it tight and push it down. What you want to do is you just want to give it some slack, pinch it a little bit. Actually, pinch it quite a bit. Maybe you even want to double it back, okay? And then boom, that's that pops right on there. Now, if you want to tighten that up, you just rotate that. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Oh, look how tight and, and flat that is. Okay, although I don't want to do that because I still got to do the other side. But you just do that all around the, the little pyramid that we built out of the emergence strap here, and it should work fine. So again, pinch it. Don't lay it flat and push this on because you're going to break the netting. You want to pinch it, give it a lot of room, Maybe fold it back, maybe put some more fabric in there, and then pop it on, okay? So I'm going to do that all the way around, and I'm just going to make it a little looser than normal here, okay? Because you're still going to have to fit a bottle in this. I'm going to do that, uh, but to save email bandwidth here, I'm going to turn that off.